take number four. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. I have my husband with me, Thomas. Hey. As you know, or maybe you don't know, when you see him, we are usually doing a Trader Joe's haul. And today, we are putting a spin on it. And we went shopping and I filled my bag and then he filled his bag. And it's up to you to figure out which one do you like the best. <laughs> All right, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when all of my shows are posted. All right, who goes first? Man, go right ahead. Oh, he's letting me go first. They're going right. like mine better anyway. <laughs> right when we walked into Trader Joe's, I love the front area right there because they've got plants, flowers, and all kinds of cool things like that. So I picked up this nice succulent in this cute pumpkin planter. You didn't even know what it was, did you? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> What's right. <laughs> Y'all, they had so many different varieties. I'll put a picture right here. So it's called a little succulent. And my husband doesn't think it's going to last. When he, <laughs> I said, oh yay, I have 30 days to, you know, put this around the house. And he's like, that's not going to last. So. <laughs> I'll be back in 30 days and we're going to show you what it looks like. You're the kiss of death for me. <laughs> Alright, just show them what you got. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I got my hot pico because freaking rocks. It's good. It's the best pico in town. That I've tasted so far. Yes, other than what we've made. But if you don't have time to make pico, yeah, get it from Trader Joe's. Yeah, definitely. All right, baby clap, baby what? Cauliflower. <laughs> baby cauliflower, y'all. This is the best vegetable they have in town. Let me tell you, that's what it looks like right here. These taste so delicious. If you like cauliflower, even if you don't like cauliflower, you'll like this. It is good. Oh yeah, it's really good. Steamed with a little bit of butter and salt is really good. In the oven with some Parmesan cheese and the, um, some sea salt. Oh my god. That's gosh. like enough for like, like one person. Alright, so I usually combine this with like broccoli. Alright, am I winning yet? <laughs> Probably not. I haven't, I haven't pulled the trump card out yet. No, he's holding it back. <laughs> I got my coffee. I didn't get any for my daughter. Ha! Just me. Yeah, she's still got another one up there. So. I'm not as mean as all that. Alright. Well, we were there, you know, finding things that we really like, or maybe it was something new that we really wanted to try, but I've had these before and they are delicious. And I have to hide these in my house. Because <laughs> there are kids in this house that will find your stuff, let me tell you. These are Georgia Pecan Butterscotch Chip Cookies. Nutty, salty, crispy, southern style cookies. Delicious. They are good. Yeah. To go with my coffee, I got some raw cane sugar. See what you do is in the filter you put a little bit of the sugar, then the coffee, and then sprinkle some cinnamon on it and let it always oh, good so that goes with the coffee all right we're still kind of boring over there <laughs> i still got the trump card all right so i went down the chip aisle and i was like okay if i was on a desert island and i had to pick one chip these would be it right here these are salted blue corn tortilla chips so good with salsa so good making like a pan of nachos these are the little boat ones, so you can put your little meat, cheese, and salsa inside of these. Oh my gosh. I have a video on it somewhere. Yep. If I find it, I'll link it down below for you. All right. Mmm, yummy. All right, well, I got uh, some <laughs> chocolate donuts. That's not the trump card either. What I got's better than these. <laughs> but these are really good. Those are good. Next. All right. They're wondering if you're going to taste anything today. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. Their bakery is really good. This right here is a Chantilly cream vanilla bean mini 
she cake. He wishes he had this in his bag. No. <laughs> this is so good, y'all. Mm. You know, we're going to do a taste test of things at the end of the video, so stay tuned. This will be one of them. All right, All right. go ahead. I got this uh, any pasto assortment. It's got mixed olives, uh, pepper-coated Italian dry salami, mini salami nuggets, and unexpected cheddar in there. We were so happy. Well, he was because it's an antipasta tray, mm -hmm. and it has unexpected cheddar cheese in it. And we have a subscriber who has gotten us hooked on that unexpected cheddar cheese. And it, it comes in a block, and it's like white paper, and it says unexpected cheddar cheese. So, y'all, if you get a chance to try that at Trader Joe's, go try it out. It's really good. It's so delicious. I made a cheese ball with it last year, mm -hmm. and I'll link that down below also. Oh, I'm shamelessly... Plugging all your stuff? Plugging right? all my videos. <laughs> That's what the platform is for, so go for it. That's right. Okay. Gnocchi. Oh, yeah. Now, I love gnocchi. I love gnocchi soup, plain gnocchi. It doesn't matter. These right here are inside out gnocchi, which means there's tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese inside of the gnocchi. Mm. I've never tried these, but I heard they are super good. So I'm super excited to try them. What did you get? I got some butter toffee coated Virginia, Virginia peanuts. I've got these before and they are awesome. These things rock. I could finish the whole can. I have and to limit has. myself. <laughs> yeah, but that can lasted. What are you doing? Well, it did. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Tell it on me. <laughs> okay. Mint to breath bones. Yes, I love these. <laughs> they make my dog very happy. <laughs> my dog told me to go pick up a treat for her. <laughs> she was running out. Anyway, these are these are like new. At Trader Joe's for us anyway and I like to always pick up my dog something special at Trader Joe's and these have five natural breath fresheners including alfalfa parsley fennel dill and peppermint and they're just like um, greenies yeah so we're gonna see what if she likes these I'm sure she will <laughs> I'll let you say it I I'm not say saying it right. it. I can't say it right I either. I got this. Knuffy? We say Kuniffy. Whatever. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. We had one that was heated up and when the kids were gone and we were watching a scary movie, wasn't it? Yeah. And this was really, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but it is freaking awesome. Y'all, cook it in the oven. Mm -hmm, don't cook it in the oven. It is so delicious. There is mozzarella cheese. It's shredded phyllo, because he's not going to tell you what this is. Oh, shredded phyllo, mozzarella cheese. It's got crumbled pistachios and honey on it. Oh, well, my gosh. A, like a sugar. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's very good and delicious. Oh, yeah, it's like a syrupy, syrupy yeah, sauce. Yeah. The guy at Trader Joe's who's bagging us up said, add some honey to it. And he said, it was, it's over the moon. So on this one here, when the kids are out of the house, we're going to make another one <laughs> and add some honey to it. And thank goodness they're old now, so they're out of the house all the yeah. time. I think you're up next. Oh, am I up next? All right. All right. Mango and sticky rice spring rolls. Oh, my gosh, y'all. When we can get these, we get these because sometimes they don't have them. So these are so good. It's getting kind of wet in the boxes. I'm going to mm -hmm. put this in the freezer. Anyway, these are really good with some fried rice or even, I'm going to push this out there really quick and yeah, good. steal his thunder, chicken shumai, Ooh. which is chicken and vegetable dumplings with tangy soy sauce packet. Oh, that'd be good. These will be so good together with some fried rice. Mm -hmm. Dinner one night. All right. You must be talking just you and me, because that's not even enough for one kid. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I, go ahead. I uh, saw this and thought I'd give it a shot. It's the non-dairy oat beverage. I don't know if it's any good. Um, 
I saw this on Katie Hespy's channel. She does a lot of Trader Joe's hauls. And she was talking about this one, the refrigerated one, versus there's a shelf one also. So Thomas is going to try the refrigerated one when we do our little taste test at the end. Yep. Go ahead before I pull out my uh, trump card. Oh, he's got a trump card. <laughs> I do have a trump card. Okay. Chicken enchiladas verde style. These look so good. I can't wait to have these for lunch. This would be really good with my pico on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's four of them in here, if you can see that right there. It's white chicken meat, Monterey Jack cheese, and Cotija cheese with a mildly spicy green chili sauce. Sounds good, huh? Sounds good. A lunch. <laughs> yep. All right. Go ahead. All right. The trump card. Are y'all ready? I know you are. I will win this because I have beer. My people are like, what? Beer? I have beer. And not only is this is Black Toad beer. It's a dark ale. I love dark beer. It's full. It's flavorful. And if it's like a Guinness, man, that's a meal. So, Trump, I win. We can stop the video right now. All right, so it says they begin with a custom mixture of dark and roasted barley malts. Then they add choices of hops. The resulting ale has a dark chestnut color and a deep nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. I won't know that because I don't drink beer. So. No, I'll know it. <laughs> You'll know it. I'll know it. I can't wait. All right, the last thing, and we both picked this out. It was in both our bags. Yes, it was. These, oh, they are so good, y'all. If you haven't found these yet at Trader Joe's, go get them before they, they're over, all right? Yeah, they're moosey. These are chocolate mousse pumpkins. It's velvety chocolate cakes layered with a silky mousse, and they are delicious. There's nothing pumpkin flavored in there, okay? It just looks like a pumpkin. Yeah, they're good. So, so good. All right, y'all, tell us your favorites. Tell us which bag you liked. Mine. Okay, just tell us what your favorites were. You don't Beer. have to pit us against each other at all. And stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and do a taste test of a few of the items and let you know what we think. All right, so we're going to start with these chocolate glazed donuts. Look at in there. Mm -hmm. Those look really good. Those look like Cruella donuts if you've ever had one. Mm. These are nice and moist. You want back? Are they cakey? Oh, a little bit. Not bad. It's not mm. heavy like a cake donut. It? No, it's not heavy. It's really good. Mm. Uh oh. I hear a beagle. Mm. She's stalking us right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Those are really good. Mm hmm. Mm. Those are really good. Try a little bit of those almond. Right. Now he's going to try this oat, oat beverage. Oat beverage. Hmm. Ah, ah. Get down. Trying to steal food again mm. there, huh? Can you smell anything? Does it smell like? Mm-mm. So what do you think of the milk? It tastes like milk. Tastes like milk? No, yeah, I mean. Does it have a sweetness to it or oh, an oaty flavor, uh, like oatmeal? Nope. Or? Mm -hmm. nope. I'm not going to drink it. <laughs> it's a little thicker than, it's kind of like almond milk. You know how almond milk's a little thicker than regular milk? Um, but. Yeah, there's no weird flavor to it. There's, I don't know, I'm not picking up really anything. So. All right. So we've got these moose pumpkins here. Do I try a bite? <laughs> Silly question. <laughs> We're going to show you all what the inside of it looks like. All right. 
as you can see, there is the, I'm going to pull this up, the velvety chocolate cake with the silk, silky mousse on the inside, and then it's covered with that orange glaze. All right. Pretty good, huh? Yep. These are good. This is better. <laughs> the donuts are better. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you what he's going to like over that donut. Mm-mm. The mm. Chantilly Cream Vanilla Bean Cake, for sure. Oh, yeah. You see the flakes of vanilla in there. Yes, you see those the vanilla flakes in there? Mm. I do. When we tried this one time before, gosh, that was it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Got it? No, not. Nah, right. My hand, my fingers are bigger than that piece. <laughs> We're good. It's so freaking good. It's amazing. Very vanilla y. Alright, the next thing we're going to try for you is the top of board. Ooh, I don't know how that's going to taste after all this. That's the fun of it, right? <coughs> <laughs> you won't be able to eat all day. This is the anti-pasto assortment board that they had at Trader Joe's that we're going to try for you. Oh, all right. look, individually packaged. Very thinly sliced. Got it. Man, looks like they were trying to slice an atom off of that. Ooh, that smells good. That's thin. I thought he was going to share that with me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. He was like done. You're going to want to like pepper. Ooh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Very peppery. All right. Unexpected cheddar cheese. It'll help with that peppery taste of that salami. Mmm. That's good cheese. That's really good. That'd be good with an olive. Mmm. Oh, man. Do they have seeds in them? Mm-mm. Well, Mm, 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 mm. That's good. Mm. That's a winner. Okay. We like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright y'all. That's everything from our tasting. Let us know what you think. Alright. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. And you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. I'll see you on my next episode.